Recreational marijuana hit a new valley high in October, with more than $85 million in estimated sales. That's according to the Arizona Department of Revenue. We've legalized marijuana, but we don't have tools that can test when somebody's used marijuana. Right now, local police departments use urine and blood to test drivers who they suspect are under the influence of the drug. Traditional methods like blood, urine, or saliva can only say if you've used marijuana in the past several weeks to months, but not if you're actively impaired when you get tested. Some people may wonder why there isn't a breathalyzer for THC like there is for alcohol. And that's because this is a molecule that's called ethanol. This one is THC. You can see just how much more complicated and bigger this molecule is. The goal is that the breathalyzer will be portable, non-invasive, and easy to use. This is expensive. This requires an expert to be running it. But we want to actually shrink this down into something that's portable, simple, easy to use, um, that you don't need an expert in sending it off to a lab. Uh, and so this is sort of one of our working prototypes that we're developing right now. Phoenix company Electrotech is partnering and receiving funding from an Iowa-based company that created ignition interlock devices used to detect alcohol on a driver's breath. It's the same kind of thing they want to create for weed, a breathalyzer that could detect use in the last three hours, which they say is the peak time of impairment. Right, fairness is really not getting losing your job when you're um, not actually impaired, but fairness is also not putting other people at risk. Reporting in Phoenix, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.